meteorologist Caitlin Moffitt. Good morning and happy Wednesday. Another morning with similar conditions. Mild temperatures and patchy fog have been a consistent thing, I think, since the start of the new year. Temperatures up on the hill are at 25 degrees. We are under clear skies, but with a wind as steady as about 7 miles per hour that's keeping temperatures from dipping as low as they could on a typical winter morning. Visibility has been reduced to 6 miles now up on the hill as more fog has begun to develop, which is typical as we progress through the morning hours. More spots will start to see that fog kind of start to develop. It be too too dense though as we head through the morning hours and then it will quickly diminish uh, as we start to kind of approach the afternoon hours and sunshine it should return across the board for a couple of hours for some of us and help those temperatures warm up into those upper 30s we got a winter storm watch that's in place for douglas ashland bayfield and iron counties this goes into effect tomorrow at noon lasting through saturday at noon so that's two days but this watch will be upgraded into either a advisory or a warning as we get closer to the event come tomorrow morning morning. This is just kind of a heads up for those folks that they will see those higher snowfall totals due to some uh, lake enhancement from this system. Right now, the system is still sitting off to our west of Billings, Montana. Very unorganized, you can kind of see, but it has made its way onto land, which yesterday morning it has. It was still off on the coast. So now that it's on land, we are seeing a little bit more consistency in terms of our model runs of what we're looking at in terms of the track. Still on, on track for tomorrow morning through tomorrow afternoon when it arrives. And it's going to skirt across the international border through the afternoon hours today. So we're still going to be dry today with this warm front, actually, is what's bringing the entire Midwest areas that are going to see temperatures in the 50s into the Dakotas. We're going to see temperatures approaching 40s in western Minnesota and upper 30s as you get closer to Lake Superior just from a very strong warm front, which is again going to be bringing the first round of precip tomorrow morning. So this system that's all rain still Wednesday night, but that's over the Dakotas. As it approaches Minnesota, snow will start to filter in because temperatures will be cooler and we're going to see a rain snow mix for western counties like the Bemidji, Itasca County area. So that's going to also bring in the chance for freezing rain and that's right around the morning commute for Thursday morning. Twin Ports still dry though. We're not going to see our activity until the later morning, early afternoon hours, and then that's when the cold air filters in all snow for most of us, but it will be a wet snow. Temperatures still rather mild, so that's why it is going to be a lot of moisture in the system. But with that moderate snowfall, we are going to see the impact on our evening commute for Thursday night and Friday morning. It continues for most of the counties uh, kind of on the Iron Range and south. You can see the international border already starting to break up. There are going to be several breaks in this system with a lot of dry air associated with this, so it is a trickier winter storm to predict. However, I am looking at more snowfall totals in the areas like northwest Wisconsin just from that lake enhancement. That is why I have six plus for those folks like Ironwood and Ashland. Even Silver Bay could see a bit of lake enhancement uh, along the North Shore. For the rest of us, four to six inches for most of us. A few locally higher spots, but as I mentioned, it's a two-day event, but there's a lot of dry air moving in as well, so that will affect those higher snowfall totals. Today, though, enjoy that warm afternoon. 36 degrees is a pretty nice day for middle of January. We should see a little bit of sunshine and then, of course, uh, the clouds take back over tomorrow morning as the rain snow mix headed our way tomorrow morning. And it's going to be just a two day event of more so being careful on the roads. You know, we can yes. handle the snow, but it can be slippery uh, at times. So. Well, especially when it's that rain snow mix. Yes, with the it's freezing rain. Not as fun as no. the nice, fluffy white snow mm -hmm. that we got a couple weeks ago yeah, much before easier. the new year. Uh, so, definitely something that we will be watching for the next couple days. Yes. But let's enjoy, enjoy this calm <laughs> before <Absolutely>. that snow. <laughs> Thanks, Caitlin. Yep. All right. Now it's